People will say, oh, I would never have spine surgery. And if you really look at the root of that, almost always the situation is one of their relatives or somebody they knew closely a while ago had a spine surgery and it was sort of a catastrophically bad outcome. And that wasn't uncommon, frankly, in the bad old days. Doctors took an approach that was suitable for the knee. It hurts, we don't want it to move anymore, we want to fuse it together, and applied it to the spine, which was a really, really different thing. Spinal fusion is the elimination of motion. So if here's a bone and here's a bone, you fuse them together, they can no longer move separate from one another. The problem with spinal fusion is, in order to get the two bones fixated together, it usually involves placement of hardware, and the placement of the hardware involves um, often um, opening up the spine, damage to the muscles, the ligaments, the tendons. You now have the hardware is causing a very different force dynamic as the fusion. If two things are solid and put together, they're gonna affect the things around them in a very different way than if they're separate and absorbing shock and moving. So you now have this adjacent problem in the force dynamics. And then there's anything that the surgery did. So in doing the surgery to get in there and actually cause the fusion with fixation, there's damage to things that are normally supportive and physiological and structural. So there's damage to the body from the surgery itself and then there's damage to the body from the effect of the fusion. And those two things together make fusion a pretty complicated thing to have done. We're always trying to avoid it for treatment of pain and in elective situations, but if your back is broken and the two parts need to be held back together, spinal fusion. We're gonna put in hardware that's gonna restore it and recover it. Uh, spinal fusion is a godsend. If the uh, spine is deformed, if you are like this and you need to be like this, well, there's nothing other than hardware and fusion which is gonna restore the normal uh, alignment and allow you to live pain free. But for things like back pain, for arthritis of the spine, for joint pain of the spine, those are not appropriate uh, reasons to have spinal fusion anymore. If my patients need a fusion, we do the fusion. There's certainly still some legacy fusions that need to be done. And if you need a fusion, we're gonna do it in the least invasive way possible. That means outpatient, no blood transfusion, very low risk of infection, very, uh, usually without the need for narcotic or really strong medications. But what we found over the last five years is a lot of those people who we think, we used to think needed a fusion, really don't. We can treat them today in less invasive ways, sometimes ultra minimally invasive ways, which are not only outpatient, but you can recover in hours and days instead of weeks and months.